Yo, what's going on guys? Anastas here with Subtle Cinematics and today we're filming a music video with an iPhone 12 Pro Max. So I got Miles here. Miles has been on the channel a few times before. And we're gonna be doing a full in-depth behind the scenes on how to shoot a music video with a cell phone. Let's get it. So the first shot we're gonna be capturing here is I'm gonna be actually spaced out to the point where I'm gonna count in my head right before the beat drops of the song. So that's at around 21, 22 seconds. So I'm gonna back up just far enough and I'm be holding the camera just like this and be walking heel to toe like so. So I'm be walking, walking, counting my head. And basically once I get over Miles' shoulder, he's gonna have a note that shows the, um, the title of the song. And that's gonna show right before the beat drops because the song kind of dims, like it cuts back a bit and then the beat drops. So we wanna show the title of the song on the uh, piece of paper. body image stabilization on the iPhone 12 Pro Max and it's honestly pretty fire. I mean, I was slouched over like so and I was walking heel to toe and I was getting a really smooth shot. So one other thing I want to mention too is that I'm using an app that I paid $20 for. It's called Filmic Pro. So the reason why I'm using this app is because I can actually shoot in log, which is amazing. So I can color grade my footage in post. So I don't have to use the raw colors from the iPhone. I can actually color grade everything and pull as much dynamic range as possible within my shot. So if you guys are looking to purchase this app, I'll leave a link in the description for it. It's really fire if you do shoot a lot of cinematics with an iPhone. Another reason why I love using the Filmic Pro app is because I can actually preset all of my camera settings within the app. So I have 4K 60 FPS and 8-bit, 4K 24 FPS and 10-bit, and then I have my 1080p 120 and 240 FPS slow motion. So I can dial in all of my frame rates and all that within like two seconds, which is awesome. So for these B-roll shots that we're gonna capture, we're just gonna grab general B-roll shots of Miles playing the guitar. So I'm gonna start shooting in 4K 60 FPS and I'll be able to slow-mo these clips by uh, 40%. So we're gonna grab these B-roll shots right now. If you guys are enjoying this video, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. We post a ton of in-depth behind the scenes um, on our filmmaking sets and we don't only just show you the behind the scenes stuff, we actually talk throughout our sets and explain what we're doing very in-depth for you up and coming filmmakers out there. All right guys, so the next performance scene we got is gonna be in 24 FPS. I swapped over to 4K, 24 FPS and 10 bit. We're gonna run back another performance scene here. Miles' energy is super hype on camera, so uh, it's looking fire, honestly. And as you guys can see, like my handheld shots are just like wild. So like when Miles is head banging, like I'm literally tracking the motion of his head and just his movements. So that's a really important thing when you're shooting your performance scene, especially with an artist that's as energetic as uh, Miles is on his music video set. So we're gonna run back a couple performance scenes here now, pretty much all in 4K, 24 FPS in 10 bit. Let's get it. a bit just I want to get the sun in the background a bit fire keep it going keep it going yeah good awesome sick 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 all right guys so the next scene we got we're gonna shoot again in 24 FPS I'm gonna be sitting or standing on the chair and I'm literally gonna be holding the iPhone just like this I'm gonna frame it up 
point the iPhone down on Miles while he's laying down pretty much on the, on the ground there. And I'm gonna keep it nice and steady. So this is gonna give us a lot of opportunity to do a lot of like key framing, like slow key framing when the song does kind of scale back on the energy a bit. Um, it's just gonna be a really nice little performance scene cutaway. I'm not gonna stop it there though. We're gonna get like a wide shot looking over top of Miles and then I wanna get one where it's more punched in. It's gonna be showing from the middle of the chest to the top of his head, just a more little close up shot. So we're gonna run that right now. So think of this shot as I'm gonna be like slowly zooming in on you and out. All right guys, so I'm just switching over to 60 FPS and 4K. Um, I'm gonna grab some B-roll shots. So let's go over B-roll shots for props using the iPhone. So basically, I'm gonna press record here, shooting in 60. And basically what I'm gonna do is like, I try to keep my elbows tucked in here just to keep as much stabilization as possible. And then my trailing leg is gonna be out here on my tippy toe. And then I'm just gonna slowly move over here. Boom. Another good one too is just going really close up. Like all I'm doing is slowly just pulling like this. I'm, go I'm panning while also tilting the camera like this. I'm kind of just turning the camera as I'm panning. So we'll get really close up here. Panning, tilting. Super simple guys. This is for the people that maybe are looking to get into music videos, but maybe can't afford a camera yet, don't know what to invest in yet. Maybe they don't even know if music videos are the thing for them yet. I'm literally shooting a music video right now with a cell phone. Uh, it doesn't have to be the newest iPhone. You can shoot this type of stuff with any cell phone out there, a Samsung, iPhone, whatever it is. As long as it shoots a video, you can really go out and shoot it. So um, we're gonna finish up these B-roll shots here. I'm gonna grab some shots of the amp real close up. I'm actually gonna zoom in here a little more simple panning shots guys like slider type movements grab one of the mic here should we get one more performance scene where it's like wider because like a lot of the performance scenes are really tight on you Let's do one like right here and then it doesn't matter no. sure like oh, just like yeah this could like, be like b-roll and shit just oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, like, super, like, hella yeah, close, eh? Yeah, like, with movements and shit, it's kind of, So, like, do you want yeah, me to get up, the, like... With the background, it looks yeah. really trippy. A little, a little less movement, because it picks up a lot of movement on this. I just want to be able to track you here. Holy, the details. Alright, guys, so next performance scene, we're going to run really quick. Uh, we're only going to do half the song, because we're not going to use this for past, like, a minute into the song. Is I'm going to be using the telephoto uh, lens on the iPhone 12. And I'm basically just gonna be grabbing a shot of Miles' mouth, just mouthing the lyrics to the song. Super easy performance scene in 24 FPS. All right, so the next scenes we're gonna capture are gonna be in 24 FPS for pretty much everything. We're gonna get some random shots in the parkade, some B-roll and performance scene type shots. So we're literally just gonna book it through the parkade and grab some running B-roll shots. So these are gonna be used as uh, just super quick, like unsteady, purposely unsteady B-roll clips to sprinkle throughout the entire music video. Perfect. Oh, that's sick. When we were downstairs in the parkade, I noticed that between like all the columns in the parkade, like on the very side, the sun was peeking through like really nicely. So I shot with the standard lens on the iPhone and just got the sun peeking behind Miles. And there was parts throughout the performance scene where I literally would tell like Miles to stop and I would just 
capture a really beautiful silhouette of miles in between the pillars in the parkade. Uh, with the sun in the background and everything so far super impressed with this guys like we're shooting a really dope music video right now all with a cell phone you do not need a dslr if you're just trying to like get into music videos so um yeah everything's turning out really well right now we're gonna go to the next location right away all right guys so we're just following miles on the other side of the street here i'm shooting in the telephoto mode so i'm super zoomed in on miles and it looks really compressed which is dope and we're going for a purposely like shaky shot so like, i'm not really trying to get a super stable shot here because miles will purposely wants that shaky type shot all right guys so we're just grabbing some b-roll shots here getting the tree in the background sun looks good put your hands in front of your face one more time and again we're swaying back and forth looking straight up at him using the tree as the background purposely tracking his movements here making it super shaky this looks dope that's good bro so we're just grabbing some more b-roll like this is just straight cutaway shots just miles walking there's a bus coming this might actually look kind of cool could actually be a cool transition guys natural transition baby some more b-roll here shooting ultra wide just walking with miles here we're kind of tilting the camera upwards it looks actually super sick background looks good <laughs> this is a dope angle right here so like with Miles' new hairdo, he literally stands out like crazy. So we can film B-roll from like far away and you can you can pick him apart, which is dope. So I'm gonna I'm gonna kinda walk in on him just a little bit, get some little handheld shakes in there on purpose, get the moon in the background. So what we're gonna do here is um, just burst a bunch of photos. So we're gonna get it like a couple different locations and I'm just gonna hold um, the volume up and just burst a bunch of photos and then stitch them all together so it looks kind of super choppy and we can use these as like super quick transitions. I'm gonna take a bunch of bursts here. So a little bit of movement. Basically when Miles turned his back, totally wasn't in the treatment. I just told him to kept keep walking at the end of the song. And then I just kept pulling back and then boom, panning up to the um, roof or the ceiling here. So um, yeah, just kind of coming up with stuff on the spot, guys. It's looking super dope so far. Basically just following Miles from the second floor here, getting this like kind of cable as like our foreground and just following him. It actually looks super set. And this again is just gonna be another simple B-roll cutaway. Nothing but dope stuff coming off of this iPhone 12. It's actually wild guys. Like me and Matt were laughing too because this is literally the lightest I've ever packed for a music video. Like literally ever. Um, literally tripod, iPhone, and then the BTS camera and the lenses. So we're gonna run another performance scene here. Um, this area wasn't really part of the treatment, but it looks super dope. It's funny too because like man after filming so many music videos in the same city like i've shot so many music videos in this alley it's not even funny but i haven't filmed with this specific angle so it's just crazy how much like the more you are on set the more appreciation and the better eye you have for proper composition so even having miles here too he he's the one that actually saw this spot he's like yo like the leading lines and stuff here if you're like looking up at me would look super dope for a performance scene so we're just gonna run it so I'm gonna shoot this in 24 FPS and uh, let's get her done. Yo, Steenie, make sure you don't let the anti maskers see you. Alright guys, so next shot we're going to be doing is we're going to kind of capture the sunset in the background and what I'm going to do is take photos. So I'm going to burst photos once again and I'm going to be doing stuff where I'm like 
360ing around miles while taking burst photos and I'm going to stitch them together in Final Cut Pro. And then I'm also going to do one where I kind of go up above and then back down, do some really weird trippy stuff with it. So it should look pretty sweet. One other thing I want to mention is all the background music that you were hearing in this behind the scenes video was taken from Sonata Music. So it's a royalty free platform. Check the link in the description for a free 30 day trial for all your royalty free music. So guys, here we're just capturing like environmental B-roll shots is what I like to call them. So I'm basically getting one or 60 FPS shots of like the trees, the sky. It's like a straight up blue, blue sky right now. It looks beautiful. So I'm just grabbing shots of like the trees with the sky in the background, I'm getting shots of the moon in the background. I'm getting close up shots of Miles where I'm like kind of pointing up at him and we're getting just blue sky and trees in the back. It looks so good. So I'm gonna get a couple more shots of Miles, just slow motion B-roll of him like walking with the trees and stuff in the background looking up and then we're gonna be done for this music video. Yo, bro, I live in B-roll city, bro. We only capture the hottest B-roll in the city, you know? Oh, this is birds, bro. I know, man. Spring has sprung. Yeah. All right, guys, so that's a wrap for today's video, the behind the scenes with Miles, Miles High. Guys, if you want to see the full music video, the full iPhone 12 Pro Max music video, I'll leave a link in the description. Make sure to subscribe to Miles on YouTube as well. Turn the bell notifications on. He drops a lot of really dope music and music videos on there. So uh, yeah, thank you everybody for watching. Guys, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more filmmaking tips, vlogs, behind the scenes, and more. We'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.